Hi there, welcome to another edition of Free World Heads Up on Monday the 11th of July. Myself and Sanjay with you again, and as is tradition, uh, we'll kick off with the currency, which has uh, yeah. done a bit of a backflip again this week, hasn't it? I guess you'd probably prefer talking about Wimbledon. <laughs> yeah. uh, Adam was there last week. I was, very good, very good match with Andy Murray, so uh, All right, we went okay. out to win the whole thing. So. Well, I wish I was there as well, he said <laughs> I to sort of watch the screen as... Uh, we hit new lows. We had a, a new non-farm payroll uh, uh, report last uh, last week. That's the you know, the strongest indicator of American employment situation, and it was uh, a big number, considerably larger than what was expected, and therefore a reversal of the previous figure, which was much smaller than everybody expected. So these things even out, maybe. Um, the uh, on this, which should have been dollar, well, it was a dollar positive number. Uh, the euro uh, dropped close to uh, 110 dead and then went up again uh, uh, some sort of in- inexplicable way. Uh, today we're trading at uh, 1.1033 for the do- euro dollar cross, uh, 1.288 for the uh, GBP dollar cross and 1.168 which is uh, a very low number for the value of uh, how many euros you get for your pound. Sure, sure. So I mean this this must be having some sort of effect on demand at the moment. Uh, yeah, so. that's that's right. Uh, we've got a kind of rabbit in the headlights uh, scenario going on. Of course, uh, prices in the supermarket, prices from the packers to the supermarket, these are fixed in stone uh, uh, probably till the end of the year, calendar year, uh, and that means that uh, uh, packers in particular are uh, uh, contemplating uh, large differences to their current sterling costs and uh, uh, are either booking in dollars um, or not in some cases not booking at all. Uh, we've gone through some ways in which you can buy from us uh, in dollars without having a dollar account uh, and you're welcome to find up and ask about that. Um, you know one of the things that uh, people perhaps naively expect is that when the currency uh, uh, drops like this then eventually dollar prices will come down because they need our demand so badly. Uh, it's not really the case. No, no. <laughs> um, we are both a small island. Uh, we were talking about uh, Hazel's last week. Uh, that's just... Um, oh, I don't know what you call that. Um, uh, uh, price fixing, I guess. But um, uh, we have almonds. Almonds have uh, gone up. Another thing that happened last uh, week was we had the objective... Uh, uh, a report for crop 216, the, the crop that will come off the trees in a couple of months, and um, it came out as 2.05 billion kernel equivalent. So the subjective, which is uh, much more informal, you just phone up farmers and say is it better than worse than last year, that was two. Meanwhile, there had been a lot of speculation because of extremely good um, conditions for growth that this crop could have come in at maybe 215, people were speculating 215, 220 even. Um, that would have been, uh, that would have weakened the, the price right off and prices had weakened. Uh, when the objective has come out at 205, um, and there's a kind of hushed silence here, growers are thinking, uh, oh, why did I sell so cheap? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, 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 buyers are thinking, hmm, um, I've waited this long. Let me just see how everybody else takes this. Actually, the standoff has continued mm-hmm. past the point of information. Regardless of whether this number is right or wrong, this is the only number we've got till, in fact, the crop is all in next February. Right? So, this is the number 205 is what everybody's going to work, and it's a bullish number. Uh, prices jumped about 15 cents. Okay. It's very, trade is very thin. Um, uh, maybe a lot of people are on holidays uh, in oh. Europe, um, but we expect it to firm further. To be honest, we really do. Um, uh, there again, dollar commodity and uh, both euro and sterling buyers looking at uh, eventual very high prices, and in the meantime, selling into a market where 
the retail price is hopelessly out of date. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? So you don't get that reaction from demand uh, unless you talk about emerging markets like India or China. So that's the almonds. Um, Cashew is also showing a very firm tendency now. Don't know how high they can go because at some point demand will fall off. But uh, at the moment, you know, you ask for an offer. If you can get an offer um, before, let's say, the end of August, uh, you book it because you don't bid on a rising market because there are plenty of other people to call. Mm. Um, and so definitely a very firm tone for cashews there. So things not getting any easier. No, it's kind uh, of a double hit of rising markets. Now it's a double cashews. whammy, yeah, it's a double whammy. The sterling just doesn't, doesn't seem, to be, seem to be going anywhere at the moment. That's right. Uh, so uh, very difficult for our customers and therefore for us uh, in the coming months. And I think uh, we're going to uh, maybe see some fallout. But anyway, let's, uh, let's hope for the best. Uh, another bit of news is um, uh, we've got a BRC certificate now. Um, I'll produce uh, uh, a piece showing exactly the benefits and strengths of working in this manner. Uh, it's increased transparency, basically, uh, and uh, the construction of uh, pipelines which go all the way to the to the shelves um, and hopefully a system where people are working together to deliver, uh, uh, to reduce uncertainty uh, going forwards. Mm. Uh, I think it's very positive and uh, it marks a change in uh, our trading uh, style. Definitely. Okay. Perfect. Well, thank you very much and Thanks. then yeah, give us a call if you want to. Okay. Thank you.